Hi, um, I just want to share with you all people um, a testimony that well, a spiritual attack that happened to me two two days ago. This is Tuesday, the twentieth of February, two thousand and seventeen. This happened Sunday, the twenty sixth of February. Um, well, first of all, my name is Jamal. For those who do not know my name, it's Jamal, and yes, I'm a twin, and. I wanted to do videos from 2015 to yeah from 2015 about like my walk in Christ and well, certain videos and certain testimonies I have been through and but it's like the Lord put it in my heart to hold on and wait and now this is the time so I'm gonna share with you all something that happened within the last month because the enemy is busy he's very very busy and he knows the Lord has a purpose for me and he's like trying to stop me but it ain't gonna happen so I'm gonna start by saying about three Sundays ago while I was at church during the sermon it's like I got like a vision but to me it was like this thought just came to my mind I just saw myself walking home from church across Belleville Main Road and by myself and while walking I looked back and I saw thousands of demons black and these things look so angry here these things just hit me with a passion and I looked back I looked to the front and I saw looked to the sky and I saw an army of angels here an army of angels appear so much angels just appear ahead of me and it's like from a sky view it's like I little dog <laughs> In the middle and demons behind me and angels ahead of me so I share that with my brother but while I was going home from church now and walking on the same road I turned through a gap part on the edge and I walk on a different road parallel to Belleville main road and while walking on that other road and I got like halfway I looked back and I saw like these dark clouds as if the rain was going to fall and when I turned to the front, I just saw like this beautiful blue sky with white pretty clothes, you know. I look back, then I look to the front, and then that same vision came back to my mind in church. Like, I saw demons behind me, black. And when I turned to the front, there were angels, a war, an, an army of angels appeared. And now I walk home now, I just see like these dark clothes behind me. And to the front, is like this white, pretty clothes, and blue sky and stuff. So I didn't really pay much money. Went home, but this is the funny thing. Well, going home, this big dark cloud, like it was like this thing right that's following me. I don't know where the cloud is good. Like going, normally go from like um west, north from east to west. But this I was walking going like north, and they saw this big dark cloud like behind me. And they don't know how that happened, but anyway. So the next day, well in a group chat. Um, a Christian group chat me and my brother and two sisters in Christ are in Saffron and Rebecca when a large yeah <laughs> my sisters in Christ mm -hmm. and one of the girls mentioned that while she was fasting a few days ago the Lord showed her demons in the form of dark clothes like over regions and territories and over people's homes causing like, chaos and all sort of things and immediately that thought came out to my mind on that that vision I was like what this mean like every Lord showed me that to, sh to let me know that we have to pray I have to pray over our my nation because over we have to pray over the our neighborhoods the villages town the whole country the whole nation I live in the Caribbean I live in Barbados so the enemy is busy all over the world and we have to pray so moving fast forward now two days ago while at work um i was on lunch break and because i work night graveyard shift you know yeah so while on lunch break and oh and i just i just normally do it i just normally pray during the night at work Yes, because you got to cover your family and your mates and this nation with the blood of Jesus. It's got to cover. Send the Lord to send his 
angels to protect everybody's and watch over our homes and neighborhoods and stuff. And just pray against the enemy, pray against witchcraft, a cut, take, take plans, all of that. So I guess the enemy just got fed up and <laughs> I just came to attack me this time. And while on lunch break, I was in the lunch room and I was just like sitting at the table and had my hands like this. And I was like sleeping, just took a little nap. But while I was sleeping, I like had this dream of myself walking around, walking through the aisles at work. And I got up by the, the soft drink section with the soft drinks. And immediately, this demon attacked me here. Not in my dream, really. But this is the funny part. Both my dream and literally where I was sitting down. I actually felt this presence came over me like this. And this is kind of hard to explain. But what I literally felt this thing came behind me and held me. And like rest on me. In my dream, I actually was experiencing the same thing. It's like my dream was the spiritual part. I could actually feel myself fending off this thing. Because in the natural, I can't move. I'm just like like that. You will see me sleeping. But my spirit is with this thing, like rustling with this thing to get it off. And I'm there like trying to fight with this thing. And this thing have me grip here. And I have been attacked about three times in the past. Twice in 2014. And once last year, 2016, around there, I think, yeah. And this demon that attacked me this time, this presence, the man is evil spirit, felt stronger than the rest. I know the rest will leave quick when they call on the name of Jesus. But this thing was, was putting up a fight here. This thing was, like, it came to do, <laughs> this thing make business. This thing just came to get me. But I ain't scared of no demons, man. Let me pumped. Right. So I started playing the blood of Jesus. Cause at first it was like it was hard to say because although I was trying to get the words out, this thing just had me like <laughs> couldn't speak. But eventually I started to say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. But this thing would not let me go, you know. This thing was fighting, <laughs> like it would not let me go. And it's fighting, struggling with this thing, I like my hand like Pressing on this thing face, you know, either in his eye or my hammock, but it's mouth or something. But at one time, I felt this thing like opening its mouth behind me. I didn't know if it was going to bite me or what, but this like is like, if you fight him with some some person, you like grip the face or the you have the mouth like this, like ah, but that how it was. And I just got like upset, vets, and just like, in the name of Jesus, leave me alone. I just said, in the name of Jesus, leave me. And before I could repeat that again, this thing just I've left. It just left. And I got up, I walk around, I was like, Shh. you know I mean <laughs> these things do not give up, you know. And usually the times I got attacked in the past was after sharing testimonies or something like that. And I figured well a couple of weeks ago I saw this thing with like vision with like demons behind me and were angry and you know? all. I know what them know what the Lord has a plan for me, you know, and I'm I was planning to start to come and do these videos. Not this in particular. But I was gonna share I had planned to do some videos to start talking about my faith in Christ, my walk in Christ, some ups and downs, you know, time I, I fall the same and you had to repent and stuff. Videos to encourage others and stuff. A lot of videos that would touch people. So the devil don't want me to record any things and share the truth and talk things about them later. So they can come and attack me. But I ain't scared. But anyway, so I just like spoke to the Lord and was like, Lord, like, I know we can use your, your word. Your word is sharper than any two edged sword. Or, but in the name of Jesus alone, the enemy has to flee. But it was like, I just felt like fighting with this thing. Like, Lord, g give me some spiritual strength that I could kick out this demon here or cut it out. You would just me. Fighting with like myself and they just kicking about these things, but they must get annoyed. Well, some people fight them for demons, and when they get attacked, then they just be like people just be scared. But all the times I ever get attacked, I was never scared. It just how many I would just kick them things and fight with them things, boy. But it just goes to show that no matter what, how much millions of demons come, my Jesus is all powerful there are no match 
my God is an all-powerful God. The God we serve <laughs> is an all-powerful God. And no punk demons can defeat him. We have to be deep in his word and be focused because the enemy is attacking anybody. Attacking children. You seeing all about you hearing stories with children that are seeing demons and the parents not believing. Parents will put one eyes here. These things real. I have seen, I have been attacked by them. <laughs> Boy, I just pray against them things every day. The they hate me. The them don't like me. Them hate me with a passion. I just pray against them. The occult people, the witchcraft people, I just pray against all of them. And I ain't scared. So I just did this video to let y'all know that the blood of Jesus covers me. And no a demon not no demon can stop me from doing these videos. This is two years I haven't did a video like this and this is the right season to start doing them because I know the Lord is going to use me I use these videos to touch many and open the eyes of many because these things need to be spoken about and I have so much videos to share with you all testimonies 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 things the Lord did for me like I said before you know times I felt a temptation and sin but you know, when you fall, you get back up. You don't beat it yourself and say, man, the Lord is not going to forgive me. I could quit following Jesus. I could quit being a Christian. Nope. Rebuke the devil. That is what the devil want you to do. Quit. Don't quit. Jesus all the way. He is the truth. He is the life. He is the way. Yep. He is the way, the truth, and the life. I say it correct though. No, he is the way, the truth, and the life. So... Yes, just letting y'all know demons are real, angels real, heaven and hell real. It ain't no little makeup story like what a lot of people saying on YouTube. Oh, heaven is just, you know, this place and heaven is within us. And hell is just separation from God. It's just, you see, it don't exist no more. No, hell is real. It is very real. So whoever church people or so-called church people, believers that say that hell is not real, I know that I have certain uh, denominations that say it's, it's not real, but it is very, very, very real. <laughs> boy, if you wanna know, which, boy, people need to wake up here. Y'all need to open up and hear these things serious. And the enemy is coming after all of us Christians and all Christians. And the unbelievers, he's looking to take one out easy. So, just cover on yourself with the blood of Jesus. Pray for the families, over your neighborhoods, every day and night. When you're leaving home to go to work, to go to the market, even to walk on the beach, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus because this spiritual warfare is serious. It's not nothing easy, it is something very serious. There are many people who see demons and angels, there are many people who don't see those things. So it might be hard to explain about these things or when you share your testimonies, People might say, man, they don't believe that, they, cause they never see it, but a lot of y'all don't want to see them things. <laughs> y'all get so scared of rent. Some people could probably, you know, see them and like, alright, but others will get scared, even some Christians. But I'll be doing so many, I'll be, I'll be doing some more videos soon and let y'all know like, how my walk is in Christ, how my walk is in Christ going. And testimonies from the past, and I have so many testimonies here. Man, y'all get so much when y'all hear these things, boy. See, the Lord, the Lord is so amazing. He's wonderful. Jesus is real. He's not no joke made up story like some people say, oh, the slave, white man, slave, master, brainwash, the slaves. No. He is real. He is very real. There are many testimonies all over the world. Even Muslims coming to Christ. Atheists coming to Christ, ex homosexuals, ex um, drug dealers, ex prostitutes, ex all sort of people like me, party animal. I used to party hard. <laughs> coming to Christ, I'll be sharing our testimonies. He's not, he is not fake, he is real. He is real. But I just wanted to share that day with you all to let you all know. You see, in 2017, we must 
put on the full armor of God. To those who are not saved or not don't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus, I will pray that you all will turn your life to Christ this year here because heaven and hell real. These ain't no mess, sport places. So that's my other half, that's my brother Jason. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep. Twin, twin, twin. But um yeah, I will look for some more videos. I have so much videos to do. So I will decide which topics to talk about. I'll let y'all know. So enjoy your day or night, whatever time y'all watching this. And remember, keep praying. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cause these the the enemies boy. The enemy just going all out here. He he going all out this year. I know a lot of people preach about prosperity here and stuff. Yeah, that's nice too. And that's yeah. But we have to be aware that there's an enemy and he's coming after us. So keep praying and I will pray for y'all and I pray that this video will touch many others and more people can come out and share the testimonies and stuff. And yeah, man, because a lot of people going through these things, you know, I need and the need to hear these things. The need to hear these testimonies. Because that will encourage them too with what they're going through. So I'm gonna go here, enjoy your day or night, and we will catch up soon. God bless.